Hey, Saggies, welcome in. It is June 1st through the 7th. Woohoo! We got summer going on. Yep, got summer going on. So, we're going to do the 3 3 and 3 kind of reading. I think a lot of people like that, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're also starting the June dailies, so keep an eye open for that. Right now, just saw Ten of Cups. We're looking at, if I see it, I should say it, right? June 1st through the 7th. What is going on for my Saggies? What is happening? What is happening? So let's take a look. Three for you, three for the other person, three for the relationship, okay? And always, oh my word, the under, the card underneath says a lot. Big transformation. Big transformation. That's not, that's not even like, well, um, you know, maybe we'll date or whatever. This is like, you're in or you're out. <laughs> this person actually... See this, okay, so see the Pope there, or the bishop there, pleading, where that woman below him there is like, bring it on. She's surrendering to the transformation. Surrendering to that transformation here. Saggies. All right, so. What, oh, there's the Ten of Cups. Last card. Spoiler alert! Okay, so, um, huh, this is kind of interesting because this does feel like the energy is flipping and back and forth here. Um, the transformation here is that you are seeing that your person is being a little bit petulant. You're in a relationship or you're attracting a relationship or you've been in a relationship where this other person just doesn't want to play ball and you're the star. You're the star. And so that's kind of disappointing, but don't get stuck. Okay? Don't get stuck in that because this other person feels like um, traditional kind of relationship. That what they're doing feels constricting to them. Okay, let me just get these out. And so they don't know what they want. They're confused. Okay? So you have been waiting. You have been waiting um, and you've even offered your cup here. If you're, if you're being a little stubborn, okay, but know that this person is being stubborn for a ridiculous reason, ridiculous reason, okay? The reason is, well, well, it's not ridiculous. I mean, it is and it isn't, okay? Um, Hierophant, Eight of Swords. The traditional kind of relationship makes them feel stifled. And they're not even understanding that you could do something different. They're not even getting that. They're just like, no, relationship is relationship is relationship. One size fits all. And that's a ridiculous thing. But, okay, so you know in, in Jackson Brown, the pretender, he says true love could have been a contender. And it's like this person prefers to be a martyr. And that's disappointing because you have the Two of Cups. And yet, they are choosing to, you're sort of in their energy here. They're choosing to focus on the Three of Cups. Here, they're focused on the Three of Cups also. And you're standing right in front of them, being the star. Really? Really? That's like going to the best concert of your life and focusing on the fact that the ticket got torn wrong. Really? Really? Hmm. This person um, is doing this to themselves. They're feeling they are not, they're holding on to something that is false. That's a false idea. This is a false idea, right? Seven of Cups, false idea. So the relationship, oh my goodness, everything's popping. What's going on? Um, yeah, three of swords. Because you know why? You want this. So for some of you, you're going to need to pierce this bubble. The transformation is like, hey, dumbass, you know what? Since we're grown-ass people, we can do whatever we want. If you want to stay in this, God bless. Bye. Bye, Felicia. If you want to stay there, 
then, you know, I'm out. Because, you know, the, the interesting thing here is that I think what this person is not seeing is that you don't want this either. You don't want something that's constricting or feels, you don't want that. You're the star, naked, free, wants freedom. Sagittarius, for God's sake, don't they know you're Sagittarius? <laughs> I want my freedom. I want to do stuff. I want to go on my bike rides. I want to go to my concerts. I want to travel. I want to go to London. And by the way, if you want to come and have that joy, but if you're stuck in this hierophant, and there's, this is like family upbringing, okay? So they just believe this, and it serves them. They might be a Sag, too, or somebody who is afraid of commitment because this is a Taurus energy. This is a family belief, and they're just allowing themselves to believe it because, because, for, because, because. For some reason, it serves their purpose of not being... So they can say, like, I don't want to be in a relationship because it's too constricting. But they're really just afraid. They're really just afraid. All this bravado and all this, you know, oh, I'm just so free and I'm just whatever. It's all crap. <laughs> it's all crap. Because they're tying themselves up in this. I don't see you asking for that at all. I don't. In fact, I see you as the star. So they're doing this to themselves. The transformation here is like, bye, Felicia. If you think that's what I'm asking you to do, see ya. I'm out. This is what I want. Can you do it? Can you do it, partner? Can you do it? That's the question here. Can you choose with me, choose the two of cups that are behind this disappointed person, you, disappointed in their lack of being able, lack of clarity, lack of being, because it's sort of like, it's really easy to point the finger at something that is, you know, well, I don't want that. Well, okay, then what do you want? And, uh, 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 I don't know what I want. I bet you anything, this would be awesome. But they're not seeing that yet. So, Sagittarius, you're going to need to be the grown-up here. And you're going to be like, you know what? I want the two of cups that are standing behind me. I'm not focusing on that three of cups anymore. I want the two of cups that are standing behind me. And go into that. Go into that. Feel into that. That's what this person is missing. They don't understand. See the water walking along the water. The feelings. That's how this person gets out of this. And they refuse. They're refusing. But you know what? Death. If they stay stuck. Well, let's see how it unfolds, shall we? <laughs> oh my God. All right, so we're gonna do an extended read for this. Let's go a little deeper if you if you are so inclined. Um, we're gonna look at blocks to love, actions to take, messages to you from this person and how this relationship unfolds and we'll look at some guidance from the Oracle as well, okay? So click on the link, May, oh, May. Oh no, it's June, people, it's June. June 1st through the 7th for Sag. All right, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>